I'm Georgia. Um, generally, I'm a core tutor for Shooting Roots Band, and today I'm going to teach you a three-part jig called Dusty Window Sills. It is generally played a lot in Irish sessions, but it was actually written by an American guy called John Harling, um, and it's in A, but it's in a sort of Dorian mode. So there are sort of minory bits and majory bits, and it's got a really fun C part. So I will just play that once through for you. Um, bear in mind, there are loads of different variations of this. Um, and this is the one that I was taught. Though, if you do not like this variation, there are so many different versions on the session website. Okay, that was the take where I made the least mistakes, so we're gonna run with that one. Um, now I'm gonna teach it to you. So, um, before we start, um, just, I'll just tell you the range. So the lowest note in this is a low D, um, for me, on a recorder that's in C. And the highest note is a high A, which my recorder is not a huge fan of. Um, so... I'm gonna play the first two bars for you now. It starts on a a, um, a sort of middle A um, octave below the highest note, and it goes like this. I'm gonna play that again. It starts on the A, goes up to the C, and goes back down to the A again. And then you're jumping up to the E, and then you're essentially playing the same sequence again, but with a different rhythm. So I'll loop that around a few times. It's... Okay, on again. Got that? Loop that little bit around as many times as you want. Um, and... But the next part is one note down on a G, um, and it's... I'm going to play this bit really slowly, because a lot can go wrong here. So the first bit is sort of like a descending sequence. And, but then you're not carrying on that sequence, so you're not going back up to the F sharp, you're going up to a G, so it's sort of a, it's a third, uh, you're, so it's... Just that. And again. So the whole bit so far goes like this. And that's not quite the first two bars. Um, the, the ending of that for the first two bars, so after you're going you're just doing um, a scale of notes up from the E to the G. So you're going So it's and again so so far we have and one 
we'll do that again. I am going a bit faster than I would do if we were doing this in person, but I have confidence in the fact that you will identify the things that you find difficult. You will take time to sort of loop them around and um, get them as best as you can. Um, and I also think it's important to know how the tune fits together more than you know what the individual notes are, if that makes any kind of sense. Okay, so we've just done the first two bars. Um, the next couple of bars um, start with almost the same sequence that you started with. So you're going but then you're holding the E for much longer and you're doing a scale up from D to G. Um, I'm just going to play it so it's and then instead of going back down to the A you go so the whole thing sounds like like that um, and I'm going to play that again and again Loop that around as many times as you want. The next part is, oh, this, this part's a really tricky sequence. I'm just gonna play the whole thing. The sequence there goes, after you're going, you're leading up to a top A and you're going, so I don't know how I'm gonna explain this. So it's just that, let's do that couple of times. My A is not complying with me today. And then you're doing D and B and G. So these are all notes that are in a G major triad, if my grade five theory serves me correctly. Um, it's just that. Piecing those two little bits all together, it's So you're going so the whole bit so far goes and then to end the phrase you're just doing a quick So it's that's quite a long phrase. I'm going to break that down again. So it's and then the next bit is. Okay, keep playing that round. Just do your thing, identify the bits you find hard, the bits you find easy. Normally we do the traffic lights thing in Shooting Roots workshops, um, so just be honest with yourself. I, I am not there in person to guide you, but I am here on this screen trying to help you best I can. Okay, so that's the whole A part. Um, and you, so you'd repeat that twice round. Um, so we'll do that now, hang on.
the whole A part. Yes, okay. Now we're going to do the B part. The B part starts on a high A, which my recorder, as I've mentioned many times, doesn't like doing. So it's... And then you're going... So we'll just do that. And again. And then you're going from the from the E, you're going to the D and you're going. And again. Again, the notes in a G major triad, but um just played it in a little sequence there that I can't describe. So, so far you have and we'll do that again. Quite high. I apologise. Um, the next part is quite scaly um, and it goes so it's kind of like a scale but then there are some jumps in there that um, one doesn't quite expect so let's just do that and again Great, and again. And the final bit of that little sequence is kind of like, um, oh, what's that one classical piece about the morning? Da, 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 da. It's that. Okay, so the whole bit together sounds like this. So, so far, for the B part, we have this. We'll play that again. Ace. Um, play that round as many times as you want. And now this next, the, the final two bars of the B part, I'm going to just play in full now. Okay, no, we'll just do that. No, we'll just keep, stop it. Okay, um, so we'll do that again. Hang on. And then the next bit is just a couple more notes up. So it's... final little phrase in the B part is so you're going from the B you're jumping up to the E and then you're going so just do that so we're walking in the air And then you're just doing the hot cross buns, B A G. So the whole bit is. And again. Great. 
um, we'll just do that whole those um, whole last two bars. So we're starting on the G when we're going down to the E. So let's go. again. Play that through as many times as you need. Bear in mind, normally I check in with you, identify the things that you're finding difficult and we play them a lot slower. I can't do that from where I am um, behind this camera. So you have to do that yourself, but I have faith in you. Okay, so the whole B part goes like this. I'm gonna repeat it again. Very good. Um, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to play the A part twice, followed by the B part twice. I have faith in you. We can do this. Cast your mind back to what the A part was. So we're starting on the A. Doing that. We're doing the... Okay. You can do this. You can do this. Let's go. Okay, we have the A part down, we have the B part down. Now we're going to do the C part, which is my favourite bit, although it did take me a while to quite get the hang of, and I do still mess up sometimes. We're all fallible humans, it's fine. So I'm going to play the first little phrase, and then I'm going to explain a bit more. Hang on. So it's I'll play that again. Now, this is the way I play it. You can make that little bit there as easy or as complicated as you want. So there are many different ways to play this. You can play just the way I played it. So, or you can go, or you can go, where it's just kind of skipping over, skipping over. It's very, it's lovely and offbeat, it's very funky. Or you can just play the, the little G and the F sharp. You can go like that. Um, so you play that little sequence, you play that twice, so you go We'll do that again. Okay. 
and again you can play this however you want you can go or make it as extra as you want honestly you can really have fun with this section because it is it's a it's groovy it's groovy can you tell i really like the c part um after so after the you do the same thing, but one note down. I found this difficult to transition to, um, so it's... Or you can just go... But I'm just going... So that whole first little bit there is... gonna play that again one but really slowly one two three four I'm gonna do the cool little skippy out version the So after you play and you're going let's just play that so um, I think it's better to just play that C part from the beginning very slowly so you're going little bit you're playing the first phrase again so um, the second part of the C part starts with the uh, so you're just playing it once and then you're going I'm gonna go again so the, that first little second part of the C part goes we're gonna play that again we're gonna go And the final, the final, final, final bit of the tune is exactly the same as the final bit of the A part, which I will remind you of again. It's so we'll play that very slowly. That. So. With the C part, I find it difficult to break it up into pieces. We're going to play it very slowly as a whole. We're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to play it again. Okay, that is the whole tune. I hope that you will have a look at this, have a little think about the bits that you want to work on and the bits that you want to sort of play around with, especially those little jumpy higher bits. They're really good fun. Um, and we're just going to play that tune all the way through. We're going to stitch it all together. Um, because we've just played the C part. So, 
going to play the whole tune together relatively at a steady kind of pace so that we all get used to it um so but and there's quite a lot of parts um so let's just try our best uh okay one two oh i should probably tell you i should probably remind you what note does it start on it starts on an a and you're going up to the c so you're going remember that and then the b part starts with and then the c part starts with remember we all you're all with me you're all with me i have no way of telling i'm sorry anyway sorry let's play from the beginning And we're going to play slower than that. One, two, three, four. difficult to play slowly if that makes any kind of sense so you can slowly speed it up and maybe if you skip back to the bit at the beginning of the video where I played it at full speed a full fun speed um, you can see if you can do it um, so we've got there now we can all play Dusty Windowsills by John Harling thank you for watching and listening and learning I've been Georgia with Shooting Roots. Follow us on social media to keep abreast of all of the things that are coming up. And I wish you all of the best. Take care. One, two, three, four. <laughs>to send in your videos of the tunes for our showcase. Whichever parts you've learnt for any or all of the tunes, we want to see them. So there are a couple of things you want to think about when you're filming a video like this. One, you're going to want to have two different devices. One, so that you can listen to the video on, and hopefully with some headphones will be best, and one so that you can film yourself. Um, the second thing is you want to think about your background. It doesn't have to be completely blank, but just think about you don't accidentally want a letter with your full address on it or any personal family photos or anything you wouldn't want to be going online. And the third thing is you need to make sure your parent or guardian has filled out the consent form and then you're going to email your videos to l.budden at shootingroots.org 
um, or you, if the file's too big, you can send them via WeTransfer or send a Google Drive link. Um, the video to record along to is the big arrangement videos. You can find them here on the workshop videos or on the Shooting Roots website. Looking forward to seeing and hearing you.